those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello. It's going to be another one of those chaotic um, recipe videos. Look at this beautiful blender from Siobhan. She's been in the cupboard for a couple of months now and I thought it was time I got her out. Oh, she's gorgeous. Anyway, so one of our subscribers the other night said, if you've got leftover black beans, make black bean burgers, three parts black beans to two parts rice to one part oats. So I've got some leftover black beans here. I'm not using the cup measure because I don't think there's even two cups, but if I use the half cup measure as my, so that's one, Just about. So I've got three parts black beans. This is uh, leftover um, rice from last night uh, that I made for dinner. So two parts cooked rice. I did this with um, turmeric and black pepper. So it might just be really, really, really nice. I'm using the half cup measure but I'm still using um, Quaker or so and then of course your flavorings you know whatever flavorings you choose to uh, put in there so I've got plenty around let's have a play shall we oh I've also got this I'll show you this got this from um, Northern Green Gathering years ago because I bought some like vegan burger mix and I've never used it but it's like a burger press so probably end up using that as well right so we want we want some garlic granules well garlic powder Let's say that's a teaspoon. Don't forget, I'm using half a cup as my measurement, but still three, two, one. You know, three parts black beans, two parts rice, one part oats. Uh, onion powder or granules. Got it here somewhere. There we go. Onion granules. Get some of that in. And I'll tell you what I might do, you know. Because, because I've got them. I've got these um, vegan uh, beef style oxo cubes. So I'll put one of these in. Um, to just, you know, add a bit more flavour, maybe. Try and really crumble it, so... This is the inaugural, I've said, and ha, about the uh, food processor. Still got the um, wire and everything on it. Should have probably started this beforehand, but if I'd have done that, it wouldn't have been kitchen chaos. And that's often how I do things, particularly for the first time. Bit of kitchen chaos now. Right. And oh, I don't think that's on right. It's not. My bad. The um, the the top bit. I'll show you. This top bit here has to be lined up with here, not with the front, which is what I was. Uh, initially doing so Let's 
scrape down, you know. And it feels quite dry, but I, maybe that's a good thing. Might just throw a little bit of water in, just because I put that um, oxo in. Is I'll form it into patties and we're going to fry it up with a bit of salad. Look at that ring light reflection, so professional. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, I'll fry them into patties. I'll probably, oh, shall I show you? Let's see if this thing works, shall we? Might as well, while you're there, you might as well stay there for a minute. So here's my thing. Here's the, here's the thing. first homemade black bean burger and uh, I'll fry them up tonight and um, let's skip to that scene right now but have a look at this and tip marvellous all right look four four uh, black bean burgers and they smell gorgeous, actually. I thought I'd show you. I'm going to put these in the fridge now. I've done two quite thick and two kind of medium. Get these in the fridge now. Fry them up later and we'll show me then. Um, so here, don't forget I used a half cup for this. Uh, three half cups of beans. Two half cups of cooked rice. One half cup of rolled oats. And then I used garlic powder, onion powder, a beef flavour oxo cube. And a little bit of water and here we are black bean burgers yay see you in a bit hello my loves we're back um i'm going to uh fry these black bean burgers now with about that much oil i'm going to let that oil get nice and hot but then i'm going to turn them down and cook them on kind of medium heat for longer than I normally, I don't normally fry burgers, I normally do them in the uh, oven, um, but with them being, you know, all the vegetables. Right, let's fry these up. Oh, and I get that, that's one of our uh, heritage tomatoes from down at the allotment, sliced, ready to go on the burgers. Look at it! Ah, this. got that oil up to heat and then turn that down and I'm just going to let them cook nice and slowly and um, fast forward this bit for you. No, in fact we'll come back and I'm ready to 
or it'll be boring otherwise. Right, I'm going to flip these so I don't need to miss it. See if they hold their shape. Okay. Yep. And I might flip these a couple more times as well before we actually um, before I actually serve them. the shape quite well. I'm maybe going to put a splash more uh, oil in there just in the centre and let it go where it wants to. Got alright though don't they? For all made black bean burgers. You know what I mean? around all the edges because uh, we want those crispy edges don't we? who don't want a crispy edge? a daft folk that's who ok almost Jay do you want a cheese slice on both burgers? no just on one on one I'll put it on the thickest I'm just going to put an apple wood uh, smoked cheese slice on the two thickest burgers that stuff, you've seen it before. Just to kind of warm through a little bit, don't even necessarily want it melted. And uh, I'll bring you over here now to the uh, the preparation station, shall I? Alright, so on the toasted burger buns there, we've got um, on one English mustard and on one Dijon mustard. Then both with few assorted leaves and a big slice of heritage tomato that I showed you uh, earlier. And the finishing touch of course will be uh, ketchup. Uh, just because that's your classic burger topper. And then we shall have a taste of them very quickly in the lounge and let you, let you know what we think. Slightly smaller burger will be the Dijon mustard one. Got some freshly sliced allotment onion. Rather than frying it, we've gone for that, um, gone for the crisp. No fried onion is great on burgers, but also raw crispy onion is just as good. Ketchup. Slow, I made a few nights ago just as a, an addendum to the plate. And I do like, like proper finishing off something I've made. Alright, close up time. And here we are, sat sitting in our lounge with our plated meal. Uh, Jason, mm. would you like to um, have a taste, my love? Yes. Of one of the burgers? I will. 
Uh, I, I will, because I still have taste, which is a great thing. <laughs> it is a great thing. I'm so glad you've not been peculiar. Yeah, yeah, uh, me too. Me too. It's tolerable. Like you said, it's just like a cold, isn't it? Praise be the vaccines. Mmm. Is it good? Really good. So that's just black bean, um, rice and uh, oats and then the flavourings mm. that I put in there. So, um, do have a bash. Uh, I'm about to shove this in my face as well. I'll put up in text right now what I thought. <gasps> See, that's what I thought. <laughs> See you again soon, loves. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.